The name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon his last and beloved Messenger Muhammad, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. The title of this presentation is The Mercy of Allah God in the Creation of the Spider. So we, we will see here, brothers and sisters, how the mercy of Allah God Almighty encompassed everything. So to start, when Allah God Almighty wanted to create the spider, the mercy requires that the spider should be able to sense the location of the food at any location on his web to make it easy for the spider to get his food and to make it, to make it kind of easy on him. So this is the mercy requirement. Now let's see how the knowledge of Allah God Almighty comes to show and to translate this mercy requirement into a created being. So the knowledge of Allah God comes to show this mercy requirement in that Allah designed the legs of the spider as we see here. So Allah designed the legs of the spider that they point at every location direction in, his, in the web. So when food fell on, falls on the web, for example, um, um, a fly fell, uh, falls on any kind of any part of the web, it creates tension in the web. And since the, the, the legs, they point in every direction, so that will create tension in the leg. And the spider can know exactly where to, which direction to follow to find the food. So we see, glory be to Allah God Almighty, how his knowledge comes to show this mercy requirement. And we see how the mercy of Allah God Almighty encompasses everything, including the spider. So I summarize this point here, such that the legs of the spider point to every location on the web, such that any tension that develops in the web leads to a tension in the leg of the spider, and thus the spider can sense the direction of the food and goes to it directly. And for example, if the legs of the spider were different to the design we just discussed, then there would be so much hardship for the spider in sensing the direction of the food on, the, on its web. So again, glory be to Allah God Almighty. And when you understand Allah God and His qualities, then you love Him and you worship Him based on knowledge. And there's a huge difference in worshipping Allah God Almighty on ignorance and on knowledge. And may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all.